As part of the Cerner Sepsis Management Advisor project, the Sepsis Worklist is also getting implemented. This is the instructional video for the Sepsis Dashboard and Worklist. The Sepsis Worklist gives the user the ability to view population of patients who have qualified for a SERS or Sepsis Alert. The dashboard allows the user to monitor sepsis severity and identify incomplete therapy. This enables the user to quickly modify their workflow and target those patients that are at greatest risk and require immediate intervention. The work list is designed for nursing directors, charge nurses, and our sepsis coordinators. To access the work list, click on the sepsis work list button from the taskbar. When it launches, it will first ask you to set filters and create work lists. You are able to create location-specific lists and name them as such. You can also set as default and save them. You can also delete them by clicking here. If you would like to see all locations, you can click Select All. This is the sepsis dashboard. Here you will see the number of alerts that fired based on your location filter selected. It will show the total alert in the middle and the number of alerts fired per alert type. Here you will see alerts that have increased in severity. Here you can see manually added patients early goal-directed therapy patients, callbacks, and step-downs. Down here, you can filter your alerts to view only the recent ones based on these time intervals. To access the work list, click here and select Work List. It will pull in the same list that you have with the dashboard. You may sort the list order by clicking here. Selecting the patient will turn it blue, and on the right side, you will see the patient overview, the current state, and the activation response of the early goal-directed therapy. You may also open the patient's chart by clicking here. For any questions, please call the IS Help Desk at 27799.